Hey everybody, it's Katie with Embody Daily and wanted to make a quick video today about drinking hard alcohol on the Sinclair method. I've had a handful of people reach out lately asking about this, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to share my perspective on this and what I've seen um, other physicians do and um, other people do with success and without success when it comes to hard alcohol. So um, in general, my perspective is when someone's starting on the Sinclair Method, they really should not drink hard alcohol. And I know those people who do drink hard alcohol, it's really their drink of choice and it's really hard to transition to something else like beer, wine, or cider. Um, but in my perspective, I feel like it really should be part of the golden rule, like how you have to take the medication one hour before you drink every single time. Um, I think at least initially people should, if, if possible, avoid drinking hard alcohol. Um, hard alcohol is just so concentrated and strong that it can overpower the effects of the medication. And so it just creates a lot more risk for yourself if you are consuming hard alcohol on this method. Um, now with that said, I did drink hard alcohol on the method, but I waited um, until I'd been on the Sinclair method for several months and was really starting to notice this shift in my relationship to alcohol and my cravings were decreasing. Um, I would have a, a mixed drink and I would, I would never take, I never took shots again. So shots I think are always kind of risky on the method or just straight liquor. Um, but if you are going to have hard alcohol, mixing it in a tall mixed drink, um, having waters in between, making sure it's diluted, making sure that you're not just chugging it and downing it and drinking the next one, um, I think that that is, you know, might be helpful. But um, in my perspective, it is risky to drink hard alcohol on the method, especially when you're just starting. Um, so if possible, I know people have their, their drink choice, um, but if possible, switching to wine or beer or cider is really going to set you up for success um, in the long run. And with that said, you know, I've seen people who started the method drinking hard alcohol just because they couldn't let it go and they kind of stalled or plateaued or didn't notice a huge difference in their drinking. And ultimately, when they did give up the hard alcohol, their um, drink uh, consumption reduced dr drastically. And these are kind of anecdotal stories I've heard from maybe like 10 or so people um, of this shared experience. So all this to say that, um, you know, at least getting started on the method, I don't think hard alcohol is the best choice. If that's the only way that you're going to get started on the method because you can't seem to let your drink of choice go, then I think that's better than not doing the method at all, or at least trying the method. Um, and to the best of your ability, if you can, you know, water down those mixed drinks, try to be as mindful as possible, pay attention, eat with your drinks, don't just try to chase the buzz. Um, really try to pace yourself, have waters in between, um, set yourself up for success the, the best way possible um, if you're going to drink the hard alcohol. And one last thing I'll say too is um, it's interesting because this happened to me and I've seen it happen to a lot of other people when they're on the method and they drink something that is like their least favorite or not their drink of preference, they notice themselves tending to drink less of it and wanting less of it. And in a way, I think it can help um, you toward the extinction process and help you along because um, in my experience I just would yeah I wouldn't be able to drink as much and I'd kind of be repulsed from alcohol in general not only that that less preferable drink um, just because I didn't love the buzz and the taste as much so um, it might be helpful to you along the process to drink something that you really don't prefer and you might notice that you're drinking less and and not wanting to drink as frequently so I hope this little video was helpful thank you for watching talk to you guys soon Bye.